Hi everybody, it's your extraordinary social media consultant Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Agency. And today I wanted to show you some things to look for when you're participating in LinkedIn groups. Now participation in LinkedIn groups is a great way to gain additional visibility for your brand or your business. So it's highly recommended that you do so. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you should definitely set one up. And you can set one up for your company as well as yourself and any employees that you may have. So from um, the menu at the top here, you'll see home, profile, connections, jobs, and interests. We're going to go to groups. So when you hit interest, you'll get a drop down menu and select groups. Now here in the groups, it will show you uh, the groups that you've already joined. And if you haven't joined any groups, you can actually go to the advanced search at the top and you can find groups that you're interested in. Some groups are open groups and some groups are closed groups. So uh, for those closed groups, you'll have to request to be a member and then they'll let you know if they approve you or not. So here, if you are a part of some groups, it's just going to show you um, a few at the top. And then if you select here where it says view more, you'll see the other groups that you're in. Now for me, I have quite a few groups that I'm in and I plan on joining some more. Now also what you'll notice, and, and we're down here looking at Social Media Marketing Networking Club, because this is the one that we're going to look at for today. It, you'll see here in the gray where it says five, and that means that there were five updates since the last time that I checked this. So let's go ahead and we're just going to click on this group. Now we're here in the Smart Media Marketing Networking Group, and this group is actually owned by Social Media Examiner, and Michael Stelzner is um, he's the moderate, moderator of this group. Um, he may have some other people moderating, but this is actually his group. So what I wanted to show you is a couple of areas here in the group. First of all, we need to know what the rules of the group is before we start participating. So if you go here where it has the I, that's for information, click on that button. Now you have some more options. You'll see when the group was created, what type of group it is, how many members it is, and then uh, we have some additional information in the owner and then the settings. Now first, let's go look at the settings. Here's some options that you can select. You can actually have daily digest into your weekly digest or no digest at all. Now the three that I want to look at is the group profile, the group rules, and the group statistics. So let's start with the group statistics. In the group statistics, you'll see that there are over 37,000 members and it's a very active group. They had over 295 comments last week, so that's great. And it was started in July of 2013. And then there's some additional demographic information that you can use. So if you go here, it'll show you the demographics of the group. It'll show you uh, the growth of the group, which has been consistently growing. And then it'll also show you activity because of course you wanna be in an active group. Now let's go back to the information. Now we're gonna to go to the group rules. And here in the group rules, it's going to tell you what's allowed to be posted and what's not. It'll tell you if there are special days when you can do promotions, such as uh, posting webinars, what's considered spam, what questions you can ask, also what types of material you can post, and if you can actually post promotions and w in which area you can post those promotions. And then the next area I want to show you is the group profile. And in the group profile, it's going to give you um, some more information. It'll tell you which website this is, um, this group is associated with and who the managers of the groups are. And then um, also to go beyond um, the group profile, if you look here at the top, you'll see you have discussion area, promotions areas, jobs, members, and search. So let's look at discussions real quick. In the discussions area, this um, most, mostly as an industry standard is where you can post things like the questions that you may have, any articles that you would like to um, um, promote, non-promotional in nature though. So it's mostly like blog posts and like uh, com informational content that you can post there. And also again, like questions. 
LinkedIn is a great place to post questions for your peers because you get really good answers back. Now let's go to promotions. And here in the promotions area, this is more like where you would promote like uh, maybe some tools that you might have, some resources that you're selling. Maybe you have a book, a webinar, things of that nature. And again, you have to check the rules to see if you're able to post that type of information. And then we're not going to go to the other ones, but in the jobs, if anybody had any jobs that they wanted to post, um, job listings, they could do that there as well. And then um, the members is just a members directory. And that's pretty much it. So that's it for what you should look for when you're participating in groups. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. I love interacting with my uh, viewers. Also, make sure that you go over to smartofficehelp.com and join our socially informed community by signing up for our email list. And that way you'll get notified when there is more free social media advice available. So with that, go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day.